In December, three years of effort paid off. A new micro-business was created. Challenge Panamanian can fend for himself. Logistical support for handicapped persons. Moving them around takes effort. Here, Footprints supervisor can be seen loading Anthony, our handicapped friend, into our car. There's no specialized transportation available yet for him. But soon, hopefully, with benefits starting, that can change. Meanwhile, moving handicapped persons is a challenge. The Sapa's government agency office was visited. In fact, many visited were needed, even for the final action of securing the micro-business. Footprints was there to help in every step. Local volunteers, also from St. Mary Parish, participated. Almost there. Finally, the check is in hand. Custom furniture. Footprints made a sales counter at the height required with rollers. That way, Anthony could sit and sell his goods. This provides him an opportunity to showcase his products in a way that, for a person challenged on a wheelchair, made it easy to move around. Equipment purchase. The microloan, including the purchase of a freezer-fridge combination, a ledger, a cash box, and other supplies in order to get the storefront open, Footprints provided the logistics to get this done. Not only did Anthony have to be moved in order to cash his check and purchase the equipment, but everything had to be gathered and brought to his home and set up. When this was done, Anthony was almost ready. The supplies were there. Everything had to be unboxed and the store had to be set up. Supplies. Materials for retail sales were purchased. First quotes had to be provided to the SAPAS, the government agency, for initial procurement. Then they were collected and delivered. These are typical supplies, drinks, sodas, water, chips. They're what a local convenience store would have. But here, a local handicapped person will sell them. They'll get to know them. Handicap support. One micro business set